Now at 11, in an effort to curb violence in our community, Tallahassee police say they took 38 guns off the street through seizure or surrender in January. That same month, at least five people were shot and killed in Tallahassee. And ABC 27 Shanice Archer is tracking the latest effort to keep people safe in our community. City and community leaders, law enforcement, and members of the community held their second police relations justice circle forum Thursday to work towards stopping violence in the community. A main concern for people like Curtis Taylor, president of Tallahassee Urban League, is gun owners' lack of responsibility, like leaving guns in their cars. He says making guns more difficult to access can help lower the amount of violence, but that's not the only solution. Understanding the 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 emojis or, or things that's posted on social media. 17-year-old Jalen Ezekiel is a senior at Florida High and the president of the Omega Lamp Lighters. He says a lot of people his age are using lingo and slang on their social media to promote drugs. Well, that's what they're selling drugs and things like that. He says law enforcement should use social media to track people down. Drug dealers need to know they can be found and go to jail. Teaching the kids, uh, what you're posting on social media, we do see and we're, we're, we understand what you're doing. Curtis Taylor says people are selling drugs because they can't find any jobs based on their background. Someone might hire them, but the moment uh, they find out that they was incarcerated, uh, they let them go. At the forum's next meeting, they say they plan to continue the conversation and come up with a plan to stop drugs from entering the community. In Tallahassee, Shanice Archer, ABC 27. Law enforcement is also working with city leaders to, on a plan to dress down day where they can get into the community and build relationships.